Today, we're talking about Stellage XXL. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about a different dermal filler company, Stellage. Mm, maybe you haven't heard of them. Um, they're a big French pharmaceutical company. They make all different types of fillers. You might be more familiar with one of their more intimate products because they also make uh, Desireal, which is a dermal filler for, for your labia, basically. Um, they very kindly gave me this presentation box. Oh, ta -da! To show you what they've got in their range. So they also have a injectable moisturizer range with the Hydro and the Hydro Max. What's kind of interesting about uh, Stellage is that it contains a mannitol. So, you know, when you have an injection, uh, you get a bit of inflammation in that area. And Stellage argue that if you put an antioxidant into your filler, that you get less inflammation and that the product will last longer because you don't have the same kind of inflammatory process occurring, which breaks down the product more quickly. I honestly have no idea if that would make a clinical difference or not, because I haven't used enough of the Stellage to say for sure. They also have the Stellage S, M and L, uh, which is kind of the uh, bog standard filler, I suppose, for nasolabial folds, or uh, you could use it, you know, chins and slimmer people, revolumizing the face. Uh, then they have a special lip product, which kind of interesting because of the mannitol aspects of it, because when you have a lip injection, you do get more swelling there than on the rest of the face. So does that make a difference? Um, then the Stellage XL and XXL. And then this is a product that I was talking about before, which is the Desireal. So that comes in two types. You have the Desireal and the Desireal Plus. The Desireal Plus is for the outer labia. The Desireal is for inside. It helps with hydration. Very good for postmenopausal women. So the Stellage XXL, it's 21 milligrams per mil of hyaluronic acid. As I said, it also contains the mannitol as well. And this is their most volumizing product. So you would be using this in areas such as the temple, the cheekbones, the jawline, the chin, and maybe even the nose. The Stellage technology is a little bit different to other fillers in that, um, Instead of having, say, all long chains or a mixture of long and short chains, they've got two different systems going on at the same time, which they call the IPN technology. Um, it's basically two different cross-link systems which work together at the same time, but they're not actually cross-linked together themselves. They just have a loose association. And what that means clinically is it's very easy to extrude the product. It's a very nice, soft product. You don't feel it inside the skin at all, uh, but it does give you quite good lift as well. I would say that the XXL does not give as much lift as Juvederm Volux, but that's actually what you would expect because the Volux contains more milligrams per mil at 25 milligrams per mil as opposed to the XXL, which is 21 milligrams per mil. I always think with a dermal filler, the true test of it is would I have it injected myself? Uh, and the answer with Stillage is definitely 100% yes. So. I haven't actually had this one, but the Juvederm, which we've already covered, yes, of course. The TSL that we've already covered, yes, definitely. And yeah, with the Stellage, I'd be very happy to as well. I think it's a good product. Okay guys, so that's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed learning a bit about a new product that maybe you haven't heard of. If you have heard of it, surprise me. Tell me so in the comments section below. I will see you guys here again next week where I'm gonna be talking about another Stellage product. In the meantime, if you like the video, press the like button and you can always subscribe to the channel if you feel like it. All right, I'll see you later.